क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेंटी टू टाइम एंड डिस्टेंस लेट्स गो हेड ट्रेन ए ट्रेवल्स फ्रॉम हल्द्वानी टू नोएडा सो वी हैव टू स्टेशन हल्द्वानी एंड नोएडा सो ए इज गोइंग दिस वे एंड बी ट्रेवल्स फ्रॉम नोएडा टू हल्द्वानी सो बी इज कमिंग दिस वे ए एंड बी लीव हल्द्वानी एंड नोएडा ऑन मंडे एट थ्री फोर्टी एट एंड इलेवन ए एम रिस्पेक्टिवली सो दिस इज थ्री फोर्टी and this is 11 am respectively the trains travel on parallel tracks and cross each other at 48 minutes past 11 so let's say they meet somewhere over here this meeting point is let's call it as point x let's say the meeting point is 11:48 uh pm okay if both trains reach their destination simultaneously at time t so they are both reaching at the same time then what is the time t so let's go ahead and solve this question so let's take it slowly one step at a time now the time taken by train b to reach from n to x so remember it started at 11 it started at 11 and reaching at 11:48 pm 11 a.m. 11:48 p.m. So it has taken 12 hours 48 minutes. So what is 48 minutes in hours? 48 by 60. 12 goes 5 times. 12 goes 4 times. 5.8. So this is basically 12.8 hours. Similarly, what is the time taken by train A to reach point X? It took 3:48 a.m. to 11:48 p.m. So how many hours is it? Uh, 3 to 11. 3 to 11 is um 7 17 so 3 to 23 right yeah 3 to 23 is 20 hours is it 20 hours okay i think i made a small error 3 to 11 pm 11 pm uh yeah so 3 12 is 8 sorry 9 9 plus 7 yeah it is 20 hours my bad is 20 hours Exactly twenty hours. Now, the time taken. So let me change the color so that you follow this. After meeting, the trains travel on parallel tracks and cross each other at forty-eight minutes past eleven p.m. on the same day. If both the trains reach their destinations simultaneously at time t, which means they let they will have to take after the meeting point, they will have to take the same time. to reach the opposite ends so let the time b time of travel be a minutes here obviously this will also have to be a minutes only then they will simultaneously reach otherwise they cannot reach which means while from x to h so this is this direction b and this is this direction a now speed of a by speed of b should be equal to uh time taken by b by time taken by a right now what is time taken by b let's look at let's look at the journey a, uh, hx hx journey now time taken by b to travel from h uh, x to h is a hours divided by time taken by a is 20 hours similarly for x n journey speed of a by speed of b should be equal to time taken by b by time taken by a but this part of the journey what is the time taken by b time taken by b is 12.8 hours by what is time taken by a it is a hours but this speeds ratio did not change they are traveling at the same speeds which means these two should be equal so a by 20 should be equal to 12.8 by a or A square equal to one twenty eight into two, which is two fifty six, or A should be equal to root of two fifty six. I believe this is sixteen hours. So sixteen hours from eleven forty eight p.m. So how much is it? Eleven forty eight p.m. to uh, add another sixteen hours. So if you add twelve hours, it will it will become eleven forty eight a.m. Add another four hours, it will become three forty eight p.m. So 3:48 p.m. the next day. So Monday is over. The next day is Tuesday. 3:48 p.m. Option A is the correct answer. Okay. So I hope you understood the basic logic for each of these questions.